Ellen, I got to tell you, throughout market history, we've seen some pretty bad downturns. But has there ever been one, there hasn't been, that's led to a negative interest rate policy in so many developed nations? Could it happen in the U.S., and would it be a good thing? Yeah, so uh, let me answer it like I would in a courtroom. Yes, there could be negative rates in the U.S. Uh, am I very relieved that the Fed has pretty much shut the door on that option? Absolutely. And I think Chair Powell made it very clear in Denver uh, more than a week ago when he was specifically asked about negative rates. They have the example of how they've worked or not worked in other countries. They've studied that. And so I think it would lead them to that conclusion, even in the next downturn, that negative is just not an option we want to take. So is the Fed positioned well? I guess is the best way to put it. Is U.S. monetary policy appropriate, given where we are in that stage of the economy that we're at right now? And is it something that we should be concerned about? It, could it lead to a bigger downturn? And is the, is the Fed equipped to handle it? Yeah, so we've been talking about the shape of downturns a lot. Uh, the Fed knows that they're going to hit the zero lower bound more often in the future. And so they said now very large balance sheet and use of its balance sheet will be a more common tool in the future. Uh, you know, we've focused on... They, they're not going to have 400, 500 basis points to drop rates in the next downturn. But do they need that much space? Inflation is lower. You can get real interest rates down a lot with fewer cuts. So that's something to keep in mind. They're also shortening up the duration on their balance sheet. They're going to be buying T-bills. Uh, they can use that to uh, sell short-term and buy long-term twisting the balance sheet in order to get long-term rates down as well. So I don't want to count them out that they don't have enough firepower. I do think it raises a, a more uh, a touchy topic that fiscal policy needs to be there as well. And we're sitting on record high deficits. And will the government, whoever's in leadership at that time, be willing to step in and help? So, so would it be okay, appropriate for the government to go further into deficit for that fiscal stimulus? Is that appropriate? Could that happen now? And is that the right thing to do? Well, I think a lot of folks have counted out the possibility of stimulus in the next downturn, aside from just normally what kicks in, like automatic stabilizers when the unemployment rate is rising. Uh, I think that uh, you'll find that Democrats and Republicans alike will have no problem adding to the deficit in the next downturn. Uh, now, does that, what does that do about debt sustainability? It doesn't help us at all in the long run about de debt sustainability. At some point, we're going to have to make very tough decisions. But you talk to monetary policymakers, fiscal policymakers, and they say, it's not a problem right now. That's for a, a later, later time, day, right. later time. All right. So speaking of later times, we've been talking about this idea that a recession is imminent. It will happen. The only question is when. Yeah. So in your mind, in your models, when does a recession appear likely? So uh, we've been on the more pessimistic side on U.S. policy, uh, around trade, uh, and growth. And I can tell you that what clients have noticed is that I'm not as pessimistic right now. The modeling that we've done shows that the insurance cuts are working. What they're doing is they're boosting those interest rate sensitive sectors, consumer durables, and housing activity, but they're not affecting in a positive way business investment. Now that's fine. It's not a cost of capital problem, right? It's a business uncertainty uh, problem. Uh, but what you can do is help offset that by juicing other parts of the country. Uh, and so uh, what's going to happen is we think that they'll cut rates at this upcoming meeting and then we have them moving back on hold. Uh, that it, there is evidence, and they are aware of this. We heard it from Charlie Evans, you know, maybe we've done enough. There is evidence that they might have extended the cycle for longer, and we're going to be talking about rate hikes sometime later next year. A lot to talk about. Ellen yeah. Zentner, always a pleasure having you here. Thank you so much Thanks, for being Tom. here with us.